Norway's jagged west coast is one of the most breathtaking landscapes on Earth, yet it is also one of the most fragmented. Here, deep fjords slice so far inland that crossing a single one can take longer than driving across an entire European country. For decades, this wild geography has forced millions of travelers, workers, and businesses to rely on ferries that halt for storms, freeze in winter, and break the rhythm of daily life. But what if this fractured coastline could be stitched together into a single, seamless highway? What if the world's harshest fjords could be crossed without boarding a boat at all? This is the bold promise of Norway's new megaproject. What makes it extraordinary is not just its scale, but the engineering innovations required to conquer seas that are deep, cold, and fiercely unpredictable. The project proposes floating bridges that span fjords wider than the English Channel, suspension bridges longer than any yet built in Europe, and submerged floating tunnels unlike anything the world has seen before. If completed, it would have travel times between the south and north, transforming Norway's west coast from a fragmented archipelago into a seamlessly connected economic corridor. Today, let's delve into Norway's E39 Coastal Highway Project. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Norway's west coast is a geological masterpiece shaped by fjords whose depths often exceed the height of skyscrapers. These colossal bodies of water have created a transportation puzzle that generations of planners struggle to solve. The existing E39 route, though essential, is stitched together by multiple ferry crossings. Trucks often idle in queues, shipments are delayed, and winter storms can bring the entire route to a halt. Industries tied to fishing, energy, and maritime trade frequently operate at a disadvantage compared to regions with uninterrupted road networks. For coastal communities, this has long meant limited mobility higher logistics costs, and a sense of isolation from the rest of the country. By the early 2000s, it became clear that Norway needed more than small upgrades. It needed a complete rethinking of mobility along the west coast. That realization sparked the vision for a ferry-free E39, a highway designed to eliminate every bottleneck between the north and the south. It wasn't just a transportation idea, it was a national strategy to tighten economic integration improve emergency access, strengthen industry, and future-proof coastal infrastructure. As Norway's economy grew and its ambitions expanded, the E39 shifted from a bold concept into a defining megaproject of the modern era. The E39 Coastal Highway Megaproject aims to completely reimagine travel along Norway's rugged west coast, creating a continuous ferry-free corridor stretching 1,100 kilometers from Kristiansand to Trondheim. Along this route, the project eliminates seven major ferry crossings by introducing some of the most advanced engineering structures ever attempted. These include a series of fixed links across fjords of extraordinary scale. These crossings vary dramatically in length, width, and depth. Some of the fjords reach depths near 400 meters, requiring tunnels that will become the world's deepest subsea motorways. Others span more than 5 kilometers across the water's surface, necessitating floating bridges designed to withstand storms, currents, and heavy traffic loads. Other planned crossings include ultra-long suspension bridges, hybrid bridge tunnel designs, and new mountain tunnels that straighten the highway and reduce travel time. Tunneling through Norwegian mountains requires boring through some of the hardest crystalline bedrock on Earth. Existing infrastructure reflects this complexity. Norway already has over 1,100 road tunnels, more than any other nation in Europe relative to its population. The E39 expansion will add dozens more. These tunnels and bridges will feature modern four-lane standards, wider shoulders, and expanded freight capacity. Together, these elements define a megaproject that blends marine engineering, geotechnical innovation, and large-scale road design, reshaping one of Europe's most challenging coastlines into a unified, future-ready transportation corridor. With a cost estimated at nearly $50 billion, 
This investment positions this project as one of the most financially demanding infrastructure commitments in modern Norwegian history. Among the most remarkable structures proposed for the new E39 are floating bridges. Gigantic structures stretching across fjords where traditional bridges cannot be anchored. The Bjornafjord floating bridge stands out as one of the most ambitious. Planned to reach more than 5 kilometers long, it would become one of the world's longest floating bridges. Unlike conventional bridges, which rest on towers or piers, floating bridges sit atop semi-submerged pontoons tethered to the seabed or held in place using anchor cables. This allows crossings over deep waters while maintaining stability in turbulent seas. For Bjornafjord, engineers considered two primary concepts. One relies on a straight floating bridge stretching directly across the fjord. The other uses a floating suspension bridge, in which towering pylons rise from artificial islands or large floating platforms, carrying the load of the span. Both options push the boundaries of marine engineering. Controlling motion under wind and wave loads presents a monumental challenge. Norway's floating bridges must resist storm surges and tidal currents that could compromise stability. To address this, engineers model wind patterns, wave heights, and structural stresses in sophisticated simulation labs. They use real-world testing on scale models to refine designs. Every pontoon, cable, and connection must withstand decades of relentless environmental assault. Perhaps the most groundbreaking and controversial element of the E39 is the submerged floating tunnel concept. This radical idea has captured global attention, as no such structure has ever been built before. The SFT is envisioned as a floating tunnel suspended underwater, roughly 20 to 30 meters below the surface. Instead of resting on the seabed, the tunnel would be held in place by pontoons on the surface or anchored by cables descending into the depths. Vehicles would drive through a sealed tube isolated from waves, storms, and surface traffic. The Sonjafjord, the largest and deepest fjord on the E39 route, is the primary candidate for this structure. Building a traditional suspension bridge here would require towers taller than the world's highest skyscrapers, and drilling foundations over a kilometer below the surface is impossible. A floating bridge would face extreme wind and wave loads across nearly four kilometers of open water. A submerged tunnel, however, avoids both problems. Beneath the surface, wave forces weaken, and the tunnel remains shielded from storms. Designing such a tunnel demands unprecedented precision. Engineers must account for buoyancy and stability. The structure must be strong enough to resist internal pressure, external water pressure, and the forces generated by millions of vehicles over decades of operation. Emergency evacuation systems must be integrated. Ships must pass safely above the tunnel without risk of collision, grounding, or anchor strikes. The concept has undergone extensive research at the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, with partnerships involving world-class engineering institutes. While the technology is theoretically feasible, its novelty means that construction and maintenance risks remain significant. Nonetheless, if completed, the submerged floating tunnel would be a world-defining engineering achievement, setting a precedent for future coastal nations facing similar challenges. The E39 project is not a single construction effort, but a collection of mega-projects, each requiring unique solutions. Among the flagship components is ROGFAST, a 26.7-kilometer twin-tube tunnel set to become the world's longest and deepest subsea road tunnel, descending nearly 392 meters below sea level. There is also the Sulafjord Bridge, which will feature a span exceeding 3 kilometers placing it among the top 10 longest suspension bridges in the world. Similarly, the proposed Halsafjord crossing could use a floating hybrid suspension system, another technological first. With innovation comes cost. The total price estimate for the E39 mega project has fluctuated dramatically, ranging from $40 billion to over $50 billion, depending on configuration and time frame. This makes it one of the most expensive road projects ever undertaken worldwide. The project is primarily funded by the Norwegian government through the National Transport Budget, supplemented by regional toll schemes that help distribute costs across the areas 
that will benefit most directly from reduced travel times and improved logistics. Many sections will require phase development. Some components, such as ROGFAST, are already under construction, while others, like the submerged floating tunnel and ultra-long suspension bridges, remain in advanced planning stages. Norway expects major segments to be completed through the 2030s, with full corridor modernization potentially extending into the 2040s. Despite the hefty costs and lengthy timeline, Norwegian officials view the investment as essential. A completed E39 would be transformative for Norway's economy. Today, industries along the coast face logistical barriers that reduce efficiency and global competitiveness. Delays at fjord crossings ripple into supply chains, raising costs and limiting growth. By cutting travel times nearly in half, the new E39 could reposition Western Norway as a unified, high-productivity region. Tourism, a major contributor to Norway's economy, would also benefit immensely. A ferry-free route allows seamless road trips through landscapes previously reachable only through complicated schedules and weather-dependent crossings. The megaproject also stimulates jobs in construction, engineering, manufacturing, and maritime industries. The long-term economic model predicts that investments in the E39 will generate returns through increased productivity and reduced transportation costs. While the project demands upfront capital on an unprecedented scale, its potential to reshape Norway's economic geography is undeniable. The E39 Coastal Highway megaproject stands as one of the most daring infrastructure visions in modern history. It is a monumental attempt to tame some of Earth's harshest landscapes, redefining what is possible in coastal engineering. If completed, the E39 will transform Norway's west coast into a unified corridor of innovation and opportunity. Yet its success depends on overcoming financial constraints, environmental challenges, and untested engineering technologies. Floating bridges and submerged tunnels represent bold leaps into the unknown, requiring patience, scientific precision, and long-term political commitment. Whatever the timeline, Norway has already set a new global benchmark. The E39 is not merely a highway. It is a testament to human imagination and the determination to connect communities across landscapes once deemed impassable. It symbolizes a future in which infrastructure does more than bridge distances. It redefines the relationship between nations and the natural world.